Hello guys, welcome back to the crew Waltron. Driving all cards, part number 16, the Cadillac Escalade 2012. It comes with the 5 normal spec being street dirt performance rate and circuit. 409 brake horsepower, 2581 kilograms. That is probably going to be the biggest problem of all. The weight. It has a huge weight. It's a big SUV. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, a 6.2 V8 engine, 409 brake horsepower. So it has a bit of power, but it needs the power to put that weight. Interior look, um, pretty neat. Dials and numbers pretty visible. So this car is not ruined with the latest uh, tunnel patch. Let's call it that. I will just take it out now. Um, quick look on the. Uh, no, I'm going to take it out. Uh, because this has five pe specs, uh, some of the cars even have uh, more specs. So uh, I will probably go over that a bit quicker in the next videos. I want to have this series done by the end of the month, and uh, there are over 80 cars in this game with 320 something different specs so that's a lot of cars that I have to drive but this month is not a big deal I already have the Mazda Miata or the MX-5 um, in my garage and that is also the reward for this month in the summit so uh, not spending too much time in the summit and summit qualifiers this month meanwhile I can do these videos and then uh, in September we start with the new qualifiers for uh, probably Kawasaki Z1000 bike or the uh, Panag Panigale R Ducati bike. Those are the two next summit rewards most likely. Not sure in which order they will come but we'll see. People, some people think this game is gonna die because there was no news on E3. There is was also uh, the trailer from Ubisoft is released, and uh, for Gamescom, which runs from uh, August 17 to 21st, I believe, uh, in Colonia in uh, Germany. Also, there no news about the crew, but apparently, uh, at least that's what they keep saying on the forums and stuff like that. They are working on something. I don't know. Are they working on uh, update for this game or are they working on the crew 2 or something? We'll see, I guess. But for now, not much news about it. So if it is going to be released probably uh, by the end of this year or uh, somewhere in the beginning of next year. If not, then the game might die out eventually, but we'll see. Meanwhile, there are still cars around. There's a huge map, which uh, that's why I pretty much like this game. There's a huge map. You have the competition factor with Summit and stuff like that. So it's still good to go. Acceleration test, a one mile drag, uh, just as I do in the other videos. Uh, uh, well, we'll see. I don't expect super times here with none of them, but we'll see. Uh, first take out the street spec if I can find it. I'm not sure where I'm looking for here. How about looking in the street specs? Yeah. Second in the row. Street spec looks like that. I kept it pretty simple. Not too much stuff on it. One mile drag race on the quarter mile point, which is the first checkpoint you will see. is um, That's where I hit the full nitro bar sort of gives an indicator if you have a strong meter or not um, towards the second checkpoint which is the half mile and then we go to the finish it's uh, exactly one mile that's how I created it here so seems to be okay uh, with wheel spin and stuff like that pretty strong knots uh, had the bar was empty quite a bit before the half mile point so twenty six point five that is not even bad especially if you consider the weight of this thing two point five 
2500 uh, kilograms then this is actually not that slow acceleration wise um, we had a time of 26.3 from the apart which is a, a little thing which uh, barely weighs anything so either that one has a slow acceleration or this one has a pretty good one um, the dirt spec yeah dirt and rate I also do the m mild rack race but uh, well it, it has no purpose here I will test it on a dirt road later on but we'll see um, also times around 26 27 seconds I think for the the, uh, the ones that I have tested already for the dirt specs 27.3 even that is not uh, bad if you have if you consider the weight of this thing the acceleration time is not that bad but yeah bad or not uh, you we have to deal with the weight so um, it's not a record breaker and that will probably be the case in all of the specs but we'll see let's test the performance spec bit of different rims uh, a bit of different hood other than that also kept it pretty clean good from the start line uh, strong not as well apparently so um, let's see the worst we got here was a 20 point uh, 24.4 by the BMW M5 which has way more power it's also a heavy car but uh, we got a 24.0 it's uh, average if you compare it to other performance specs but it's even uh, well it's even on the bad side I guess I should say but considering the weight this thing has a pretty good acceleration the rate spec uh, we had a 30 seconds with the BMW bike and the Z4 I think and with the buggy we had 31 seconds and that was kinda slow we'll see what this one does also here decent NAS now it slows out a bit 42 it kind of doesn't go any faster really Thirty one point, uh, thirty point one. that is if I'm not mistaken the fastest rate spec we have tested so far on acceleration and it kind of died out in fifth gear as you could see it uh, did 242 and it stopped going up so How about the rate spec? Should also have a good acceleration, seeing it is uh, a cir circuit spec. I mean, circuit specs have. Oh, here we have another problem. It is spinning wheels into third gear, fourth gear even. Fifth gear, it's also spinning wheels when you hit the nitro. That is a bit of a shame. Seeing this thing. Um, it should have seven gears if I'm not mistaken all circuit specs in this car in this game have seven gears but 23.9 the main reason for that is the spinning wheels uh, fastest time here is 22.0 for the BMW bike and 22.8 um, for the M4 in circuit spec I think that's the fastest we tested here so far so 23.9 is uh, probably the slowest circuit spec but yeah if it's spinning wheels till uh, what was it almost fifth gear then you have a problem not going anywhere if you're win if you're spinning wheels all the time so acceleration wise um, street dirt and performance seems to be uh, more than okay considering the weight the rate was the fastest I've tested so far uh, acceleration wise the circuit spec has a problem because it's spinning wheels let's see how it handles and all that um, brakes hello 
Okay, so Briggs, not that good. I barely made that corner. Oversteer a bit, understeer a bit. Hmm, I think where this is going. Oversteer and understeer and not good brakes. That's what I call boat handling. Oh, understeer had to brake to make the corner, otherwise we would have hit the barriers. Acceleration coming out of the corners also not that good. It is heavy, uh, which means, well, you can consider that as a plus. Um, you can take a hit with this thing, for sure. It will hardly move. Oversteer, and now it understeers. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And the problem with boats is, um, we will see, but usually they have a good top speed. It only takes ages to get there, but once you get there, it has a good top speed. I'm trying to figure out what is in the air there. Like a huge spaceship or is it a rendering problem or something? I don't know, but... Strange things in the air. Meanwhile we are going downhill. Jumps are also not that good. 363 kilometers an hour, which is uh, as I ex expected. Pretty good high top speed for a uh, street spec. But yeah. You also need to take corners with it, this is a bit of a problem. You need to come to a standstill. Hitting the brakes is also a problem, because they are not that good. And that's the unfortunate side of things. Usually the boats have a good high top speed, but it takes ages to get there, so not much you are with the high top speed. Tapping the brakes, tapping the handbrakes. I uh, still go through the fences. Okay. That being said. Average, below average. That's what we can tell about the street spec. Main problem, weight of course. This should have a bit more power. But we'll see. Just waiting uh, for the nitro bar to fill up a bit here. See that change cars, otherwise I don't have uh, nitro or NOS available. I am uh, fast traveling or teleporting to this uh, area here instead of doing it with a free drive challenge because well it is weekend and much activity going on the surface usually in the weekend and sometimes you get the black screen bug if you do uh, too many free drive challenges. Uh, one after another. But it doesn't matter that much, it's not a time attack, so uh, you can just drive this track doing it this way. Yeah. I was just trying to avoid that car. It's also one of those cars uh, coming out of a corner. You're constantly uh, thinking, "Where's the power? Where's the power?" So you wanna you wanna hit the nitro bar every time. So driving this thing, your nitro bar is going to be empty more than it will be full, and that's not a good thing because uh, the most powerful nuts is uh, the first part of the bar. Kind of weakens the more you use, so... Uh, time attacks or so, just use something like that and then let it refill again because at the end the power of the nitro it kinda dies out, so... using full bars of nitro, not a good idea. Uh, over understeer here bit of nitro to get it out and then it starts going into an overstep 
to your situation. Not sure what it is in the air there, but it looks like some rainbow and it's sort of a reflection of this car, maybe. Not sure if that will be visible uh, when I load this video up, but I see it now, though. The jump's uh, a bit smoother than uh, with the street spec, it seems. <laughs> Although it. Uh, we hit the 400 km an hour, which again is also pretty good for a street spec, uh, for a performance spec. Street spec 360 is good on this downhill section, and uh, for performance 400 is good circuit, then we uh, need something like 420 or higher. So, also here, top speed not bad, but the handling improved a bit but not much compared to this uh, also here brake handbrake and you still go through the fence of course due to the weight hard to stop this thing nope not a record breaker either <coughs> gotta have a purpose in this game Maybe the circuit spec. Although, making a circuit spec out of an SUV. Bad idea, I guess, but we'll see. Uh, this has the uh, the spinning wheel problem, which is unfortunate because otherwise this might uh, be a decent circuit spec. The brakes a hmm, bit better than street in the performance, but still not uh, good though. Pretty smooth diving into that corner, so the uh, understeer might be a bit less. Or I was just lucky that also a possibility. Nope. Tends to oversteer more than uh, than understeer, which I kind of prefer. So that's not a bad thing. does have a bit of understeer sometimes. can also take a hit, that's something, well, you can consider that a plus, I guess. You don't spin out, you make the traffic car spin out. That's an ad advantage of the weight. Bit of wall riding, a bit of wall bumping. Which is usually uh, something you can do with the SUVs. Uh, I'm thinking on the Ford Raptor now. In performance spec, it's probably the best wall riding car in this game. Let's see speed wise. 422, 423. Okay, so we are talking about a good top speed again, just like in the street in the performance spec. So, top speed it has. The only problem is you need to get there. Acceleration is quite good with this car. Uh, the only problem is it's spinning wheels up till 5th gear. 4th gear for certain, if you do it's nitro then it's still spinning wheels in 5th gear. So, um, not moving forward much are you with spinning wheels. And that's an unfortunate thing. If they could change that for this car, then this might actually be a pretty good circuit spec. But seeing it spinning wheels, your uh, acceleration kind of gets stuck. You're not getting much ground if your wheels are spinning. So 
Also in circuit spec, meh, has a bit better acceleration. Top speed is good for the for uh, what I've seen so far. Street performance in circuit. Top speed is good in three in all three specs. So uh, that's a definite pro for this car. Top speed just takes a while before you get there, and you can't uh, have too many corners before you can reach it because otherwise you will not get it because of the bad handling. Dirt might work, but seeing it's heavy, uh, also here I'm not expecting miracles. I'm not a fan uh, of American cars in general, um, and I don't mean that in real life, I just in this game. Because they usually suffer all from the same problem. They have a huge engine, V8, V10 even, V12 maybe, and that's all good. So power they have, but usually that's resulting in spinning wheels and a bad handling. Unfortunately. Two hundred and sixty something we are doing here. Which is not bad for a rate spec. Two seventy six. I know there are cars out there like a Skyline or a um, KTM bike or they go over 300 kilometers in dirt spec. And I don't see that happening with this one. So, um, don't have a bad top speed, that's for sure. But it's not like amongst the best like it uh, was for street performance and uh, circuit spec. Somewhere in the middle, I guess. There are slower cars, like the Z4 was not that good on this track. Although it also reached 260 something I think at that uh, flat first section there. But in comparison with another SUV, the uh, X6, which is probably one of the best dirt specs in this game. I was uh, often doing 280 something with that car on this dirt road. It misses a bit, although it has the V8 power, but it misses a bit of acceleration coming out of corners. That seems to be the main problem with this. If you use some nitro you will get there, but... Constantly doing 240, 250 though... Um but it's a bit too heavy. BMW X6 is also heavy, but it, that goes through the corners smoother though. You can compare those shorter seeing being uh, both of them are SUV. But the acceleration in the XX is better than this one. 260 something and we're going a bit downhill. We're doing 270 to 80 here in the XX so... Also in dirt spec, not a record breaker.
The NOS isn't that strong after all either. Uh, it gives you a little bit of extra power, but... There are cars out there with stronger NOS. 303, 305 something uh, on a sort of a downhill section. And we are on the road now, so uh, not longer on the dirt. So in the end the top speed is kind of okay, but um, it's probably the only thing which uh, it has going for its performance. So uh, mm -hmm. it's a bit too heavy. The weight is uh, playing a part here in street dirt performance and circuit pack. Street performance it was giving uh, understeer oversteers uh, in general boat handling. It's not really the case in this one, but here it has more of an acceleration issue with the weight, so um, nope. Maybe the rate spec. Same track, we just did with the dirt spec, uh, only this time we're just going from checkpoint to checkpoint without um, staying on the dirt road. We just go wherever we think we can go. Jump's pretty good. On the first jump, that is. We'll see if it keeps going like that. Two forty something uh, speed wise. In Ridge Peak, there are cars doing um, two seventy, two eighty, with a bit of nitro. Not the case here. So uh, of this one, jump-wise, all good, but this might have a speed issue. It's always something, isn't it? Kind of considered, uh, or was hoping that at least this spec would be good. Don't see anything special about the other specs, and this one has a slow speed. It's always something. It's pretty heavy, you can take a hit. Jump source seems to be okay. Um, top speed wise, no. Can be better. One thing it had going for it in the other specs, the top speed, is uh, that's not the case here. Let's push it a bit and see uh, does it flip over or anything or once oh, it takes up in the air there but uh, lands on the four wheels every time. Yo. Yep. No flips over, no rolls. Yep, on two wheels but it keeps going. back wheels even or the rear wheels but it keeps going and going let's hit the rock and see what happens oh bam four wheel landing uh, done this the same with the um, set forward tended to flip over all the time the buggy uh, activated the crash time four times uh, I'm kind of pushing this car now and it just keeps going. It slows down here and there of course because I'm pushing it like this but 
rear wheels lift up two wheels on the side but it keeps going so it can take a hit though checkpoint yeah okay got it although I didn't really went through it but if you come somewhere close uh, you usually get it not always the case in a time attack but in a free drive challenge you don't need to go through the checkpoint uh, itself somewhere in the area it's okay Whoop, jumps, uh, whoa, whoa, this is going to go wrong, rocks here, yep. Oops. Little spin out here, uh, but it's still going. Rock jump, and bam, and the landing, two wheels. Of course, uh, <laughs> if you're talking about time attacks, things like this is going to slow you down. But you can drive cleaner than I'm doing now, I'm so kind of pushing it to see um, if it would roll over or flip over or... But so far, no. Oh, what do you know? Eventually activated the crash cam, but... Um, took quite some effort. Had to push it pretty hard to activate the crash cam. But all those uh, movements slow you down resulting in a time of uh, 5.30 something, no, 5.28. Which is the slowest, uh, but I kept it a bit cleaner with the other specs though. So, what I thought was gonna be the best spec of this car um, has a bit of a problem with top speed <laughs> while the other sp uh, specs do have the top speed going for them so uh, it's sort of a plus top speed in it but it is solid you can really push it uh, especially in rate spec you really have to push it before activating the crash cam so that's uh, kind of the pros the biggest problem uh, especially with the street specs uh, street performance and circuit is uh, boat handling. You get under steer, you get over steer, the brakes are no good. So, um, I don't know. Best use... You can have some fun with the rate spec and uh, if the wheels were on spinning with the circuit spec also that can be driven. The other specs just leave it be. That will be it for uh, this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, bye for now.